Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about our next unit, Unit 7, um, and more specifically about tetrachords and major scales. This is when I think music theory tends to get a lot more fun and enjoyable for most. Um, so far we've been getting a lot of pieces, a lot of building blocks, and we're going to actually start using those building blocks to construct something in music theory. Something we've kind of been working on in guitar and in some other classes, but we're actually going to use the pieces to build something in music theory, which I think is a lot of fun. So tetrachords and major scales. Um, let's just go through some of the, the specifics here and then we'll just start building something together. So first off, tetra, that root word means four. Right, so it's going to consist of at least four different notes whenever we're building it. Um, the pattern for building a tetrachord, right, just four different notes, is whole step, right, you can see that written up here if you're looking at the sheet with me, whole step, whole step, half step. So whole, whole, half. Now just as a quick reminder before we go on to the next little part of this, if you're looking at the keyboard, we know that a whole step is two keys. So we start on C, one, Two. So a whole step away from C is D. Again, from D, one, two. A whole step from D is E. And then we need a half step to create or to finish the tetrachord. So E to the next key it touches is F. So C, D, E, F is a tetrachord. If we were to write them out. Now, one other key thing. So whole, whole, half. Whole step, whole step, half step. Also, the four notes of a tetrachord must be in alphabetical order. So we have C, D, E, F, right? That makes sense. And if you just look through this with me, you can see where they've made some tetrachords. So starting on C, right, just like we had over here on the keyboard, C, a whole step away is D, a whole step from it is E, and then a half step is an F. All right? And then if you cover this up, you can see another tetrachord over here. This one starts on G. The top line looks a little fuzzy on my screen, but you should be able to see it. So G, a whole step from G is A, a whole step from there is B, and then a half step between or from B is C. Now, if we're talking about tetrachords, we can also combine two tetrachords to create a major scale. So just like we have in this example here. To do that, the only thing you need to do is to link the last note of the first tetrachord a whole step to the next note. So F here, if we get a whole step away from it, we come to the note G. So then that combines these two, two tetrachords to create the major scale for C. So this would be called a C major scale because it begins and ends on C and it follows the pattern of the tetrachords. Whole, whole, half, whole step to lengthen, and then whole, whole, half. All right? So a major scale has to consist of eight different notes or two tetrachords joined by a whole step, right? Four plus four joined by a whole step. Now, each scale begins and ends on a note of the same name called the keynotes, right? So if we have this, this note that it begins on is also called the keynote. So our key note in the C scale is C, right? That's talking about the first and the last notes. Now, if we look down here further on the page, we also see that we have some, some things we can add to the scale once we do it. So the tones of a scale are also called degrees or the steps of a scale. So that basically we're just giving each of the notes in this C scale, right? Because we're in bass clef, so this is a C. Um, we're giving them a number. So this C is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So scale degree one, scale degree two, and so forth. Because there are eight notes in a major scale, there are eight scale degrees, right? And then the last part here before we get into some of the assignments. In all major scales, half steps occur between the third and fourth and the seventh and eighth scale degrees. So you can see it here. Between three and four, C to, I'm uh, sorry, E to F, right? Sorry, I got confused by a treble clef for a second. But E to F is a half step, and then B to C is also a half step. And everything else on the scale is a whole step. Right, so pause your video real quick, complete these exercises, and then we'll come back and do it together. All right, question one. Write tetrachords starting on the following notes. Then add the note names under the staff. The notes must be placed in alphabetical order, right where the whole and half steps occur above the staff. So it gave us a, our keynote for both of these, right? Base clef, we have a G, and over here for the treble clef, we have C. So from G, we need to move a whole step away, right? So if we look at our keyboard, and you can look at the one that I gave you up here, right? A whole step away would be two keys. So G, one, two, we move to A. All right, so A is the next note in this scale. I'll put that below it. All right, we need another whole step. So from A, we can look back up here. A, one, two, that would be a B. And then we need a half step because that's the last part of it, right? So B, 
one key away is C. Keynote is G. This is a G tetrachord. Final note is C. And then if we label it, we have a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. All right. Now you can refer back up for this next one, but I'm just going to do it here on the paper. So we start on C. C is our keynote. Right, so our next note has to be a D. That's a whole step away. E is a whole step away from D, and then F is a half step away from E. Right, so C, D, E, F. And then if we label the steps, we have whole step, whole step, half step. All right, great. Question two. Question two says write a C major scale. Add the scale degrees under each note and indicate where the whole and half steps occur above the staff. So our keynote has to be C because we're drawing a C scale. Now we need to build our first tetrachord, and you can look up here if you get confused, but whole step away from C would be D, whole step from that is E, and then a half step from E is F. So there's our first tetrachord, right? C, D, E, F. All right. Now we need a whole step to find out what the next tetrachord starts on. So a whole step from F is G, and a whole step from there is A, whole step, B, and then a whole or half step, sorry, to C. Now it wanted us to write the scale degrees, and I started writing the note names, so I'll write them down here. Scale degree one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then it wants us to talk about where the steps occur. All right, so we know there has to be a step between every note. So whole, st oh, sorry. whole step, whole step, half step, whole, and then another touch chord, whole, whole, half. So that should tell you the pattern, right? To build a whole or a complete major scale, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Right? Okay, question three says to write whether the distance between each note is a whole step or a half step. Easy enough, right? We can use a keyboard, probably one on the sheet, or we can refer to our own. All right, so E to D, that's a whole step. E to F is a half step. C to B is a half step. All right. C to B, we just did that one, so that's a half step. E to F, half step. And then C to D is a whole step. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have an awesome day.